Okay, I've been playing around a little bit more with my uh, ultimate work table on the extrusion uh, slash side vise. Um, the one thing I wanted to show you was I was playing around with the idea of uh, having uh, this back in back in here in its original spot where where both uh, slots were used to connect it to the table. But I thought, why not just pull it out one slot, and then that gives you this uh, area here. Let me let me let me show you what I mean here. It gives you this area here to clamp your vertical piece. So, then if you had a horizontal piece, uh, what I did was I, I made a bunch of shims basically from leftover, uh, my leftover outfeed table. I had some strips, I just, I just ripped them again and cut them into various lengths. So they're the same thickness as my tabletop. I lay them in here now. I can bring my my uh, horizontal piece in, position that, clamp it, and now I'm ready to bore this. You know, whatever you're going to do, you know, if you wanted the top piece to overlap the the vertical piece. Then, then that's easy enough to do. I'll just use one. So bring this out over the over that. Lock it down. Bring that up tight. Things locked together, and, and you can you can go to work up here. If this clamp was going to be in your way, you could position this anywhere on the table where you where it would be advantageous to use these holes on here. You can use that one because it, my clamp won't drop. So what I would have to do then is I could slide this over. Now that I know that I'm going to use this this edge, slide everything over. I'm just going to go to this corner like that. Can't get that out of my way, and now I'm now I'm ready to work right here. Or if this is even too close, you know, I get another clamp and drop it in this dog hole. Um, it's I I I can't see. The, any limitations? It's just uh, there are so many options for for holding your work. Um, this this had a million options to hold your work, and now this just compounds it. I think where you're able to do everything from side work to whatever. Now the one thing that I did have here was that if I put that piece at eighty eighty on here, I couldn't open my drawers. So if I take a piece of uh, 4080 and I slide this in here, now I've got basically the same capabilities as this, only I'm flush here. I've got one slot is all, but I, I can get to my drawers. And the beauty of this is, if I wanted to support my workpiece, if I had a heavy workpiece like this, I could open a drawer up to hold it. Unclamps in here to, to uh, hold it to the work table, and now I can work on this edge. Um, you know, instead of, instead of putting it up here, 
lower my work a little bit. And if, if this is too high, you know, I can bring in my, my other drawer. And, and now if this is too low, I just get a couple of blocks and sort of shin this up where I want it, lock it in, and go to work. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to using this thing. Um, the other option I have now, if I do this, is if I needed, well, I can lock this down. And I'll just tighten these two like that. Even just tightening to it makes it rock solid. I can take this extrusion, which has got these connectors. They're called mid connectors. I think that's what they're called anyway. And uh, what they have in them is a it's a conical set screw that fits into that recess on this connector. So when you put this together that gives you the, then it's got this the connector is spring loaded so as you tighten that as you tighten that conical set screw that that either draws it in or releases it so this piece of, this piece of uh, 4080 has got two mid connectors on it. I can slide that in here. I'll loosen this one up a little bit. some reason. Now I can slide this in here, tighten this up, and then I've got this A straight edge to, to register against and to keep things perpendicular. So I know my tabletop is square and everything that's fastened to it is, is referencing off of that. So now I know this is going to be square and I can clamp it down back here, on here. Like I say, off the charts. Um, this here, well, I can come back in here with this. If this is what I was doing, butt that up, lamp it down, and go to work. So, lots of different combinations. I haven't even scratched the surface, I don't think, but I am gonna like this. Uh, for sure. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to take take these two pieces off, slide my top back where it belongs. I'm going to leave this one on here more or less permanently mounted. So this will be my side vise. And then if I want to do any right angle work type stuff, I can always put put this stuff put this back on and uh, be ready to go. So thanks for watching. Okay, playing around with my uh, ultimate work table and my extrusion for the uh, edge vise. I came up with a couple of ideas. Uh, 
if you wanted to clamp your your stuff at right angles out here, I got these shims I made so that your work can come over the top and you can you can clamp it from either side. If you needed a narrower shim to get it. That allows me to clamp, clamp, my, oh, clamp my work there. That clamp wasn't totally seated in that groove. So now I can uh, bring my other work piece up, whatever I'm doing there. Clamp it out here. You know, use these dog holes to do that. In this situation here, I've got it clamped to the table, and then I've, I've used a piece of uh, 4080 instead of this 8080, and I've got it tucked all the way back in. Now I can do the same thing. I can bring this out and just use one set of screws on here. It would be just that would work just fine too. But I'm, uh, if I was uh, wanting to work on this and, and bore holes, let's just say through here to use um, dowels to connect these two pieces of plywood, that would work. If I wanted to block this up higher, I could do that as well, you know, and then bring this up to get more clearance away from these clamps. So, but I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, if I wanted to get to my blocks, I was looking at it and I'm like, ah, oh, crap there. I can still get this drawer. This drawer has got my clamps. My blocks are in here. I've gone to all this work to get everything where I wanted it, and I don't have enough blocks to block it up. So I'm not going to unclamp it. I'm just going to loosen these bolts here. And just slide it out of the way. <laughs> Get the blocks I need. Yeah, we'll just go over. Or we'll make sure they're all the same height. Get, put my drawer back out of the way. Bring my workpiece back over here. You know, tighten this down again. I guess I'm gonna have to loosen it up anyway, but now I'm back where I want to be. I wanted to block this up like that. I could get another clamp, you know, over on this side. Now we're too far away. But that's where I can, that's the beauty of this table, I can center the cup so I can use two clamps. Now if I want to position this Slide my extrusion get those corners flush there you go now 
I've got more room for my drill. If I wanted to use my dowel jig, I can bring that in here. Actually, I wouldn't use it this way, I'd use it the other way and use it like that. I can precision locate holes. I'd have these pieces reversed if I was using that jig. But I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled and I'm really looking forward to using this to, to create uh, some of my next projects. It's always fun to create a project in the shop to help you create projects. So thanks for watching. I hope this inspires you maybe to build one of these tables and then give yourself some more flexibility by adding the extrusions on the edge. Um, one thing I would do differently, I guess, if I was going to do it and I had these extrusions, I had this in mind before I built this, is I'd shrink my uh, saw horses down a little bit so that I didn't have to do all this moving of my top. But it's fine. I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, and that's also the beauty of this. You can cut your Cut your saw horses down a little bit on the ends here and shorten your drawers up a little bit and then you'd be, you'd be good to go. Thanks for watching guys.